Paris in November. Up front, Philippe Gaillard returns at prop for the injured Laurent Seine. Behind the scrum, there's a recall for Fabien Galti at scrum half. There are eight survivors of the side that won 21-6 against Ireland in Dublin last year, including both French try scorers from that win, Philippe Saint-André and Philippe Sella, who wins his 95th cap today to extend his world record. France are led by the lock, Olivier Roumar, for the sixth time. Now, Ireland begin their campaign with a side that includes one new cap and shows two changes to the one which beat Romania 25-3 in Dublin in November. Both alterations are in the pack. Fla Stabbing style of kick, but spot on targets. And France lead after just over 10 minutes. The penalty goal, 3-0. Lucas with the throw. It's loose at the front. Kingston trying to uh, pull it back. It's loose, still in play. Pressure on from Robinson. Sadoni trying to get away and that was a bit of escapology Houdini style by France with France this time perhaps a little bit uh, upset by the pressure put on them losing their composure for a moment so here's the first chance for Eric Elwood it's a marvellous kick absolutely spot on well that rather as the chant at the beginning of uh, the run-up of a long jumper or triple jumper so now it seems to become a fashion over here to clap the awaiting kicker in his build-up it's Thierry Lacroix he's hooked it a bit but it's not too far it's between the posts and Frangius and that went in broken play they have possession again Gautier Pinot down the line via Lacroix this is Benassi up in the line takes out uh, Danaher and France come again, Salah, Saint-André across, Bernard Salle chasing, it may be touching goal or will he get there? The touch judge has signalled touching goal. Yeah, that's three out of three. And this uh, remarkable advent onto the French goal-kicking scene, Thierry Lacroix that's his 32nd penalty goal, and this only his 18th match. Something of an ungainly side, it's very much a side foot kick, and he does shape. Will it carry? Oh, it's a great kick, it's magnificent. No one cooler in this stadium than Eric Elwood. A magnificent three points here that keep Ireland right in touch. And I think lifting, if this goes over, it will certainly test the discipline of France. In front of the home crowd, starting a new championship, great things expected of them. Here comes Elwood. It's well struck, but it's left of the uprights, just left of the left-hand post. And they come again. Saint-André, not in touch. Inside is Benazzi striding out. In touch eventually. And that's the... Uh, well, the charisma of French rugby that can be the war. Out from Sella, fullback Sadoni, Bernard Salle, great cover tackle in from uh, Ireland. And I think it was O'Shea who got across. And this man can. Powering his way through the back of the line out on Ireland's throw in. Philippe Benetton with his fifth try, 93 player of the year in France. And this was a disaster for Ireland. That is very unfortunate because they've been doing so well up there up until now. The liners have been controlled, the ball had been had been put back well, the blockers were there, but that was a particularly long line out. There are lots of gaps. Neil Francis couldn't quite take the ball. Benetton grabs, breaks a couple of tackles, does very well. Stroking action again so effective and consistent four kicks at goal and all successful an important blow struck again and Elwood keeps Ireland in the hunt Bradley with the up and under the Gary Owen not a bad effort too if Ireland can win this one back it would be good clean possession they have it through classy Still edging forward, and a penalty it is to Ireland. Yes, it's true. 
straight as a die, and Elwood again. And Ireland to within four points. Little chip to the corner, back goes Gagan. It's a nasty bounce. Gagan recovers and had little choice to do other than that. In five metres, it looks as though French ball's imminent. Galtier with the switch to Lacroix. He goes, he swivels out of the tackle, and he's in. Thierry Lacroix, his second try for France, and it should not have been conceded. The first tackle didn't pick him up and hold him. That's right, Lacroix gets the ball about 10 yards out, cuts inside, breaks, spins out of two tackles virtually and over. That really, really very, very unfortunate for Ireland, but it, again, you cannot afford to miss. What a fine kick. Magnificent conversion. 18 points for Lacroix. 23 for France. And Bradley. The up and under, dropping on the 22. In goes Gagan. So too Rouma. Fine catch by him and exemplary drive. Galtier. Penault to the far touch line. Will it Bernard Sal with streaks of pace? Saint Andre. Once more, the finishing not perfect. He done trying to set uh, Danaher on the short, sharp pass. Penalty to Ireland in front of the post. France offside to get within eight points. Yes, he's done it once more. Five out of six. Keeping hopes alive. Perhaps a little tiredness, perhaps a little loss of concentration. It didn't go forward, though, off Danaher. We're down to nine minutes remaining. Penalty to Ireland. And maybe a little um, frustration, too, for France, who won't have yet realised their expectations. They're only eight points ahead. And they'd expected, as reigning champions, a, a big send-off here on their home ground. Inside the French half, it's a fine kick. It's just left and misses Bernard Salle. The cover safe. Gagan puts his man in touch. Anton, it's Benazi. Benazi on the counter-attack, dumped by Elwood, but set back perfectly. Galtier, Pinot, it's a poor pass. Lacroix has to backtrack. Ops for position in the end. And scoop the long-floated ball to Saint-André, into the corner. 14th try to add to the try he scored against Ireland last year. Philippe Saint-André with just in the end, too much pace. Yeah, this was all about pace. It was very, very simple in the end. A move the France have tried to pull off on more than one occasion today. Saint-André sh shows on the inside, cuts outside. And it's all the pace to burn Richard Wallace. They're 13 points behind. And the conversion to come. Lacroix with a, well, 100% success rate. Astonishing. Bear in mind the tiredness at the tail end. And yet the concentration and the routine perfect. Pinot. Pinot still. Back inside, the forwards can support Gaia. Five metres out, there could yet be another score. The charge on, close in. The try is given. And France rounded off with the man, Olivier Mal, all 19 and whatever pounds stone of him, powering through. One move to blindside, this man, San Andre again. There's a lovely switch with Lacroix. Sardini. Back inside to Galar. Armory, that man playing like a back row forward again. France managed to keep it in touch. And this big man, Mo, looked from 10 yards out, big, strong, 20 stone apparently, and stretches to the line. That's unfortunate for. Six for Thierry Lacroix. 35 to 15, the scoreline as we move into injury time. But at the very last, he misses one. He's out, Gautier floats it across, taken on by Benetton. Benetton still has a man outside, and Bernard Sal will not be thankful for Benetton not using him there. The quickest man on the field, and Benetton was looking for his own moment of glory. Irish defence courageous. They win handsomely enough in the end.
35 points to 15. In that the margin is something of the order that Olivia Rumel and his men would have been looking for prior.